Hi, I'm Bart Meuser. I'm a design strategist at Microsoft. And in this upcoming series of interviews, I will be talking to design leaders on how technology changes the way we design. In the, fa in the past few decades, we've seen how digital technology changes how we design and what we design. But this change is far from over. Artificial intelligence, mixed reality, and quantum computing will soon have an enormous impact. Today I'm here at the University of Applied Science in Darmstadt and I'm talking to Professor Philip Deser. Philip is a well-renowned design thought leader and he's had an impressive career. Most notably, he was the Senior Vice President of Design at the Deutsche Telekom. Currently, Philip is Professor for Human System Interactions. Philip, thank you for doing this interview. Thank you. So, Philip, now there's been a lot of talk about the digital transformation in the last few years. But recent studies show that only a small percentage of its potential has been reached yet. So what, in your opinion, is the main thing that is holding companies and organizations back? I think most uh, companies struggle with the dig digital transformation because it's very complex. And the digital transformation doesn't affect only one discipline in the company and only one silo. Uh, it's relevant for the whole company and it's relevant on many, many different layers, on the process layer, but also on the, on the product and service layer, so what's the customer experience, but also on the cultural layer and on the question on fundamental business models. So it's affecting three or four layers in the company which, um, which are maintained by many, many silos. And um, it requires a very big amount of collaboration, which is not easy. So even though the CEO wants the digital transformation and he hasn't underestimated that this is a big challenge, he's mostly facing big organizational resistance. And then that makes it very hard. Yeah. Well, and how can design specifically help these companies achieve their potential? So design, um, I just mentioned this three or four levels, and design can contribute on every level. I think it's obvious that uh, design is contributing on, on the product or service level, on the customer experience. But it's also quite important for the process level. Like, uh, we had the rise of design thinking during the last years, and this is this is the try how to deal with the complexity in, in processes and how to deal with technology and, and production processes and to, to make innovation in the company and uh, to foster collaboration. So on the process level also design, more as a mindset than as a craft discipline uh, has also a big contribution. And then of course on, on the strategy level articulating the corporate vision is also a design task and um, uh, even though the design discipline is not the only discipline working on the, the corporate strategy, you needed to visualize it and to make it experiences for the whole organization. Okay. Well, as much of the design work will get automated in the near future, and also design gets more and more democratized, right? Like you talked about this, yes. like more and more silos we need to, we need to break and more, more people will need to enter the discussion on design. Um, what will remain the unique contribution of a designer in this phase? I think it's, uh, uh, that varies a lot from organization to organization. But in the essence, the contribution of design uh, are two things. First is creativity, of course. And um, this is, is a major topic for every organization when it comes to innovation, but also to strategy. And empathy. Mm -hmm. uh, the discipline of design uh, is focused on the human being itself. And this is also the role design can play in the future, mediating between technology and the human being. And therefore you need empathy. And the combination of empathy and creativity is very unique. And um, this is the USB of design. So that, in your opinion, is the main skill set, so to speak, of a designer also for the near future. Yeah. Basically, design is creative problem solving. And mm -hmm. uh, this is a very fundamental skill, but also empathy is also Mm, maybe not a skill, it's a type of, 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 of personality, it's, it's a social mm -hmm. skill, um, but it's very, very central. And then maybe in the near future, the design will more and more diversify in the four areas of intersection where the design discipline itself have the intersection with other um, disciplines like technology, economy, or 
psychology or cultural studies. Yeah. Now, uh, human-centered design has expanded from designing objects to uh, designing uh, experiences. Yes. And the next step will probably be designing system behaviors. Now, uh, how will the experienced designer need to evolve in order to design such kind of system behaviors? What will the work be of an experienced designer in the future? I think uh, it will be more about system design and this is also due to the fact that the rise of artificial intelligence and the m amount of automation will be much more in the future. So the, the interaction between the customer and the company will not be an interaction anymore from, from human to human or from machine to machine, but mm -hmm. there will be mixed interactions from humans with machines and machines working side, on, side by side with humans. So this kind of, of system is completely experiences and, and makes the customer experience. Um, as an example, getting advertised, buying a product, setting it up, using it, going to service requires a lot of interactions, but the whole systems make the customer experience and it's maintained by humans and by machines. And um, orchestrating this holistic experience is a design topic for the future and that requires skills on a systemic view on experiences, which will be a, um, a major skill for designers in the future. Okay, thank you very much, Philip. Now, in your opinion, what are the key takeaways of this interview for you? I think th there are three major points. First is digital transformation is very, very complex and it's interdisciplinary. This is why it's hard to uh, organize it in the organization. Second, the major skills of a designer are creativity and empathy, and this is very, very important for the future. And third, we will move from the design of physical objects to interfaces, no matter if graphical use of interfaces or voices, to complex system interactions. And this will be the work of the designer in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.